Pops and Francis and welcome to Women Healing Together where we deal with all things women. If you like the content, if you like what you're seeing in this video, there there is much more, right? Much more. So consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell. We would love to have you as a part of our family. Alrighty. If you are already a part of the WHT family, family, <laughs> family, thank you so much for staying with me because I can't do it without you. Because it's not just my channel, it's your channel and it's our channel. Today, we'll be continuing with part two, addressing the topic, how to know that you're really maturing as a woman. If you have not yet watched part one, I am going to be linking it. So please check out part one, even before you watch part two. <laughs> All right, let's dig in. So we are continuing number 12 the 12th guidepost or signpost character post that you can use to determine if you are really maturing as a woman moving from that naive young lady who is so concerned about others and really developing into your authentic self number 12 realizing that god is your judge and not person's projection of their fears and hatred of themselves on you. Let me repeat that one. Realizing that God is your judge and not people's projection of their fears and hatred of themselves on you. Honey, lovely. Let me sip some water for this one. Mm-hmm. There are many, many people who judge you every single day. For those of us who are Christians, there are so many persons who, are, who present themselves as the judge of the world. They determine whether you're going to heaven or you are going to hell. They want to determine how boasty versus how humble you are, how educated versus how uneducated you are, how is it that you're a great mother versus how you are a poor mother, how you speak well versus how you don't speak well, how you're a good wife versus how you're not a good wife. But it really and truly has nothing to do with you because the irony is that those persons are projecting the ideas of themselves. They are projecting their hatred of self. They are projecting the guilt and the regret that they live with every single day because of what they did or didn't do and they want to put that on you. So what is a sign that you are becoming mature as a woman? It's that even when you mess up, even when you don't do the things that you should do or you do the things that you shouldn't do, you realize, lovely, we realize, lovelies, that God is the ultimate judge. Our judgment does not and should not come from another human being. That does not mean that persons who have really sincere hearts towards us, that does not mean that they cannot guide us and steer us in the right direction. I'm going to touch a controversial matter right now. And I don't even know why it's controversial because in my opinion, it's the truth. And it relates to Aunt Monique. Monique, right? Celebrity Monique. Uh, she spoke about the bonnets and our sisters not she she said that our sisters should be wearing bonnets on the outside and i agree with her because of the principle with which she carried her argument the principle was look presentable when you step on the outside always represent your best and if a bonnet is not your best then do not carry that outside of your home right so if you have someone like monique who is really trying to steer you in the right direction, then that's fine. You can accept that. But if that is not the case and person just wants to be the judge of your life, you know you are mature 
or maturing when you realize that God is your judge, even when things don't go right, okay? Next point, number 13. Realizing that you don't have to be in control all the time. And this is something I struggle with for so many reasons, right? Beyond this video. So many reasons beyond the scope of this video, but I'll mention two. One, I am the eldest of five children. I am used to being in control. I am used to being the boss. <laughs> okay? Number two. I have, if you have been traveling with me for maybe over a year or so, whether it's on Instagram or on Facebook or here on YouTube, you would have heard me talk about the my experience of childhood sexual abuse. And when that happens to you, you tend to feel as if you're not in control. So as you get older, you want to control all the pieces of your life. Just, it's in an effort to prevent you from feeling as if you're losing control you want to be protected and you feel as if you are the only one who can do that so because of that i have the tendency to want to be in control and it manifests itself more most strikingly in my marriage right and i had to learn to allow my husband simple things like he's washing the dishes and i don't think it's been washed properly or he's wiping the counter and I believe he's missing a spot and I just want to say to him, no, 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 give me, give me, I'll do it, I'll do it, right? Taking out the garbage, I want to do it. Sister, lovely, you don't have to be in control of everything, no. Because if you are in control of everything, you're God and we're not God, we're just children of God, right? So. Whatever you can control, then you do that and you do it to the best of your ability to ensure that it's optimized. But what you can't control, leave it alone because it just stresses you the hell out. <laughs> I can tell you that. Next, number 14. Hmm. Ah, this one is a challenge for so many of us. Number 14, how do you know that you are becoming mature as a woman? when you are able to accept that your mistakes your errors in judgment they are not the sum total of who you are allow that to sink in you may have done some crazy you may have been some crazy you may have thought about some crazy Whatever mistakes we have made as women, whatever the error in judgment was, it is just a small piece of your entire life. It is not the sum total. No, it's not. And I know that even now you may be thinking about that crazy thing that you did said, should not have said, what you may have said, could have said, would have said. And that has been haunting you and taunting you for years upon years upon years. Whether you're in your 30s like me, 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, even 20s. And that mistake from far back then even if the mistake was yesterday, even if you're making that mistake right now while watching this video, it is not the sum total of who you are. We are so much more than the mistakes and our misfortunes and our errors in judgments and our crazy. Okay, my lovely? Let that sink in. Number, I'm so not good with these number things. I, I keep messing up. But number 15, when you are able to forgive yourself. Yes. We practice, when we talk about forgiveness, we practice and we talk about forgiving others, how others have hurt us, how others have done this. But so many times we do not concentrate on forgiving ourselves. Forgiving ourselves of the bad choices that we have made, forgiving, of our, forgiving ourselves of the errors in judgment, forgiving ourselves of the craziness. Because it's easier to forgive someone who is not in your proximity 
But when it comes on to yourself, you're seeing yourself every day, you're hearing yourself speak, you're hearing those inner thoughts, you're having those memories. But I can tell you that when you have done something wrong, when you have gone against your values and maybe you have misrepresented your integrity, your character, it's not just a reputation, but deep within you that you have to live with, you are becoming mature when you're able to say, call your name right now, Popsan, call your name, Popsan, I forgive you for what you have done and it is not the sum total of you, who you are. Number 16, being okay with being out of place. In other words, being out of place and being unbothered. <laughs> when we're younger, we tend to want to have the herd mentality. There is an ex There are exceptions, but most times we want to be in the crowd, we want to be in that friendship, we want to look like everybody, we want to be accepted. We want to be a part of the herd. But a sign of maturity is that when you're getting older, you are out of place, you are not resonating with the crowd, you don't have commonalities of the crowd, and you are okay with that. You are okay with being you. You don't have to be a part of the herd. Number 17, knowing when to give up and step away from drama. You can't take on everything. A mature woman knows that there are some skirmishes, there are some battles, there are some wars that are really just skirmishes. They are not to take your time and your effort. It may mean stepping away from a friendship, it may mean stepping away from a relationship. It may mean moving out of a community or even quitting a job. Because being mature is knowing when to step away from the dramatic. It's not worth it. It's not worth it to live in a tornado and a hurricane day in, day out. Nah. Mm. Number 17. Separating people from issues another way i like to think about this point is this knowing that some things are human general phenomena some things are human general phenomena they are not person specific yes 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 so you may see a person who struggles with something and in your mind, this is the only person in the world. Why do I have to carry this burden? Why can't this person change? My world is falling apart. But really, if you were to take the time to look around you and to look at yourself, you will realize that you have the same issue. Some common things that are human general phenomena, selfishness, mm -hmm. anger, frustration, sadness. These are human general specific. It is not aligned to a specific person. And a mature person who understands that will treat others as human beings and not persons who are carrying a tag of a burden or a bondage or a specific condition with them because we have the same problems too it's human general not person specific put a one in the chat if you understand what i'm saying yes <laughs> number 19 accepting people's faults and loving them anyway and this hinges on number 19 every single person in this world has a fault at least one fault you have a fault i have many faults right so when we love persons they're not going to 
come to us pre-packaged perfect and wonderful that has gone through the gate from adam and eve and even they messed up so the persons in our lives or spouses or husbands women or husbands they will have faults and these faults would get on our last nerve but we should love them anyway you know why because they can grow and they can overcome those faults as long as there's life and there's jesus christ there is hope the next thing that will cause us to love them anyways because we have faults and we want to be loved by others as well all right let's go to number 20. you show that you are mature lovely when you finally accept that you don't know everything <laughs> we carry this mentality where for example we're in school and there are some of us who want to answer all the questions correctly all the time we want to know all the things so a mother believes that i should know everything about parenting a wife believes especially a young wife at that time we believe we should be perfect wives perfect teachers perfect business owners perfect gardeners perfect 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 not no go so all right Nothing goes like that. A sign of maturity is to admit that you don't know everything. And it is okay to say that you don't know. Even if it is your area of strength, even if it is your expertise, even if it is your domain, it is okay. The only person who I know who knows everything is the omniscient one jesus christ none of us as as women know everything number 21 not taking yourself so seriously yes you make a mistake laugh about it you have a slip of the tongue laugh about it you whatever it is don't take yourself so seriously like <laughs> don't laugh and enjoy yourself it is all right to be serious 24 7 okay all right cool and then the last point is the last sign the last character post guide post to indicate that you are on the journey of maturity or you're already mature and you want to just develop on other areas is this focus when you are able to focus on financial stability and not just status okay uh, a few years ago I was driving in Maypen which is a town in Jamaica and I heard this reggae artist I think his name is chronics and I just remember the line of a song and it resonated deep within my soul all the way down to the points of my toe in jamaica we say your toe pint and your foot but um <laughs> right and they they i'm paraphrasing because i don't remember the words the line verbatim it says something like our status is our paycheck and when i heard that i'm telling you down to my toe point down to my foot but um the sole of my feet i pondered it he is so correct our status is our paycheck the fact that we have a particular profession the fact that we have been educated at this level the fact that we have this persona of success that is our paycheck because when we look in the bank as women our degrees and our professions and our our persona of 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 success is not reflected in the bank account as you get older you begin to focus on financial stability you want to ensure that retirement is being planned for death is being planned for sickness is being planned for you start to think about posterity you start to think about the legacy that you're going to be leaving behind for your children or those whom you love and i'm just going to put a little a little note here if you are young young is relative here but i'm thinking about persons in their teens you're just graduating from high school between 17 or 19 you're in your 20s maybe in university and you're just about to start life 
I beg of you, at 32, a lot of persons would say I'm still young, but I beg of you, if you are younger than I am, start thinking about your financial stability from now, right? And it's great to get a degree, and I encourage you to get your degrees if you can, because I have done that, but start thinking about your financial stability, all right? And I'm going to be putting my email address down below you can contact me on instagram as well you can contact me on instagram at women healing together facebook women healing together or even my personal facebook page at pops and pops and fantasies because i would like to help guide you where that is concerned because your status should not be your paycheck your paycheck should actually be something that can sustain you and the truth of the matter is paycheck will not sustain you right so i'm going to be linking a video in 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 this one and the title of that is seven mindset shifts that we need to have to ensure financial stability so please check out that video as well all right so we have come to the very end of part two by now i am hoping that you have learned at least one step one sign one guidepost one indicator about your maturity so we have listed i think 22 of them in a two-part series if you have not watched part one go ahead and watch that right now all right i want you to know in the comment section below my lovelies off the off the the points that i have discussed in these videos share in the comment section at least one that resonated with you at least one that you're like hmm i never thought about that as representing or resulting because of maturity right as an indication of maturity so please let us let me know Remember, I will be posting videos every Sunday. Remember to subscribe, like, and share, and comment. Remember, we heal so much better when we heal together. Bye, lovelies.